In the city of Calgary, a growing concern weighs heavily on the minds of its inhabitants, the rising cost of living. From housing to the simplest of necessities, the financial burden seems to grow with each passing day. Join us as we dive into the experiences of Calgarians and listen to their concerns. Have you noticed any changes in the cost of living in Calgary over the past year? Yeah, the cost of living has skyrocketed. It is super expensive to live here right now. Being conservative is very expensive to live with a liberal government here because Alberta is very oil and gas, Canada, Calgary is very oil and gas, so it's... Uh, it's, it's very expensive to live here, for sure. Yeah, rent has gone up. I was thinking about buying a home. Prices are through the roof. You rent, prices are through the roof. And even with groceries, I think that's nationwide. It's, I mean, how much has that gone up? So, I mean, there's a, a tighter squeeze on everything. The apartment that I currently lived in, I rented that space out about two years ago. And the price of that particular apartment in that locality has gone up significantly. I'm looking for a new place to uh, move, but it has gone so unrealistically high. Even if I want to afford a house, the inflation is just crazy. So yeah, it's not in a place that any renter would want it to be. Yeah, it's went up a lot, especially like trying to live downtown and stuff. Everything's going up because everybody's moving down here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like it's uh it's unbearable. Like everything you do, like gas costs more and gas is required for everything you buy. Right there is one factor that's just leading to costs and then we've got carbon taxes and things like that which are abhorrent. They're just putting more money into elite's pockets and uh, they're making it harder living for the common person in society. Yeah, that is a huge change because like uh, right now I'm paying around somewhat in four digits uh, in my rent and the room I'm renting right now has gone for like plus four to five hundred dollars this year. Very much costly these days. I came in 2019 so that I was living in the basement for like uh, $300 but now it seems like it's like $600 in the same room I've been living for four years. This has doubled uh, over the past four years. How has inflation affected your personal finances? Made me feel broke as shit sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. You, you go to the grocery store and let's say you pick up a week's worth of grocery and it puts more of a dent than you would expect. So I have a specific portion of my paycheck that I usually save up, for instance, like 30%. Now it's not 30%. It has, for most of the month, scaled down to half, which is basically now I'm able to save up to, what, 20 to 15% of my bi-weekly paycheck. Did you sacrifice on something? I plan to buy a, a car. I plan to buy a house. I couldn't buy a car simply because the interest rates are, are touching close to 8%, which was, what, three, three and a half, four percent less than a year ago. In your opinion, what factors do you think have contributed to the recent inflationary trends? Definitely the war had a big one in Ukraine. The inflation rates went up there. Um, with all of Canada being a very open country to allow um, migrants in, with lots of migrants, lots more inflation rates going up. And everybody's going higher in debt, which just means the cost of living is going up. Everybody's percentages are going up, right? The banks are always going to go up. They're never going to give us more money, so. Yeah. You know, COVID, supply chain. I mean, but I know with the house prices and rental is a lot of people are moving out here from the east. You know, I, I've heard that, you know what, we can't afford to buy a house in Toronto or out east. Why don't we move to Calgary and buy a house? So if we think it's expensive here... What do you think the government should do to address the issue of inflation? Oh God, if vote conservatives into power? They can do better. Make it easy for the common people who are working on daily wages or on hourly pay. Yeah, the rent should be like stayed like constant it should not get increasing like day by day and the groceries are pretty costlier day by day too so they should like try to halt everything at like pace pace it down not too much of increment like day by day